race car. Get with it, Mom. You're a slowpoke. Oh, oh, don't whop it on me. Come on, you don't jiggle, jiggle. No, I think we'll have a breakdown at least three times. Are you kidding me? Nope. Hope for the best. Yeah, we're good. Tip gauge don't work. Fuel gauge don't work. Rocky and put into this. What could possibly go wrong? We got something dragging on the ground. There's a brake line hanging down. Safety first. <laughs> Anything goes wrong with this engine, this thing may not make it. Getting pretty smoky in here. Well, this is so slow. This is gonna take forever. Oh, she's slowing down. It is getting really hot. Hey, my dog's out here. Where have you been my whole life? I'm on the four lane highway. Did it die? Just me and the open highway. Oh, she falls off. He's sending her. Bruh. Rocky, get your stuff packed. She's in the lane, it's just not her lane. Rocky, you can't drive. Put in jail. <laughs> Look at you. Finn, I don't have a dollar. Your mom. I can barely even see you. You like Rocky? I can of I got hungry. All right, we build Rocky. Glory. Power tour, but all my cars. Me and a goat riding in a motorhome. We are burning fuel at an alarming rate. That's not good. Squeeze lemons. Are we crazy? I think I hear Uncle Rodney. This video is sponsored by eBay Motors. Me and Ralphie have been talking and we really think we want to put some aluminum heads on that 302 we pulled out of the Fairmont before we set it over into our Falcon Futura. So we got on the eBay Motors app, picked out some heads. We wanted some aluminum cylinder heads so we can lighten this engine up, give it some more power. So we got them ordered and they're on their way. Well, that was faster than I expected them to show up. And a cylinder head that great on a 302 like this make a huge difference in power. Not to mention all the weight savings we'll get from this. Oh man, look at that. Oh, that's gonna be awesome right there. And they're so much lighter. Well, let's get these things installed. eBay Motors connects millions of buyers and sellers together. And they enable entrepreneurs and businesses of all sizes. Whether you're restoring your classic car or just fixing up your old daily driver, they have the parts you need with over 122 million parts and a 90 day money back guarantee. They have parts for cars, trucks, motorcycles, boats, ATVs, campers, whatever you got. Whether you're all about the looks or you're wanting to get your car running perfect, Check out eBay Motors for all your needs. Well, there you go. We got it all assembled and ready to go back in the car. These 180cc aluminum heads should really make a big difference in power. So this 302 ought to be breathing a whole lot better with these new cylinder heads. eBay Motors has the right parts at the right prices. Welcome back to Sleeper Dude Channel. Today, we're gonna try something we never done before. Now we've took one car to a car show. We may have even took two maybe to a show at some point in our life. So there is a local car show there's a church we're trying to help out their youth group. So we're going to try to get as many of these cash for clunkers over there as we can <laughs> and uh, see how it works out. I don't know how many. I think there's about five that I know I can get there. And I'm hoping for like six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. If we have time and we don't have too many breakdowns, we'll try to make it there. So let's try to get together enough batteries and enough gas to get there. Let's go. Quantity, not quality, correct? Yeah, we're go we're going here for quantity of vehicles, not really quality <laughs> of vehicles. She's exactly right with that one. <laughs> we know, we're pretty sure we can get the Metro mm -hmm. Mite there, mm -hmm. even though we've only drove it about a half a mile. We think the Dart Wagon can make it. Pretty sure the Turbo Kip can make it if it doesn't mess up again. I'm thinking that the 74 Mini Winnie Winnebago can make it. Probably. The Falcon should make it. The motorcycle should make it. The F100 only has first gear, so we might try to haul it there. The Savoy doesn't have brakes. The Malibu doesn't really have brakes. The Dart doesn't have brakes, and it's missing two hoops. That was definitely I'm a no thinking no. about driving the tractor there. I may oh, drive the tractor are you all the way me? there. Third gear is pretty fast. That thing is pretty oh fast. Oh my on third. lord. I think I'm going to try to drive the tractor. Now, this show doesn't start until tomorrow. But we ain't gonna have time before 10 a.m. tomorrow to move all these, so we're getting a head start tonight. So here's what we got going. We only have four good batteries on the premises for 20 vehicles. So we need to get some batteries somehow, some way, get the, an envelope built up for some batteries. Yeah, it looks like we have a lot of gas, except for all these are empty. So we're gonna have to probably stop and get some gas and cans, because I know some of these, like that one, I think it's completely empty on fuel. I don't know about the tractor. Where's your child labor at? 
man child is at basketball practice right <laughs> now so he should be here in a couple minutes or whatever but he's still at basketball practice always need you some uh clearance. discounted clearance fire extinguishers when you're dealing with this much gasoline and batteries let's start out with something that's not going to be too big of a headache the turbo coupe now it has broke down on me several times and we don't know what's wrong with it but usually it runs and drives you always want to put the battery in backwards first that way you know it fits both ways it's too bad ralphie's not here this is his favorite car to drive mm -hmm. no, we got a quarter of a tank that's that's probably enough one so mom's on filming duty today so she's running me back and forth and videoing me and I'm going down the road if you're wondering how I'm getting back to the other cars this is what we're doing there's no telling it's gonna cost me I think I'm having heart palpitations already 450 again the truck's empty too well it thinks we don't need any more than 100 bucks and we need more than that I guess 200 is. I almost filled our cans up. Well, I mean, totally. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Nope. On to the Mini Winnie. A 74 Dodge Mini Winnie Winnebago. Oh, get in there. You little booger. Looks like we're good on oil and water, so. Here we go. Hope for the best. Yeah, I better check how much fuel we got before we go. Yeah, we're good. Sound empty. Yeah, if you want it. Okay. Love this thing. Oh, you got your seat belt and holster there. <laughs> this thing rolls like crazy on a hill. Have you run this out on the road? Yeah. 
get up to speed, you can definitely tell this thing's got a low gear. I think it has a 410 gear, I believe, with no overdrive. It didn't even diesel want to shut off. That's incredible. This thing is over delivered. Man, two in a row. Look, they both got wires hanging out from the bottom of them, so that's good. Maybe this thing won't burn down while we're going. Who would have thought we would get two in a row here? Hey, that's a good. Without that's issue. That's good. Score. We may have started out with the easy ones though, <laughs> for sure. Now we gotta go pick up Ralph here from basketball practice. We're gonna need his help moving these things anyway. That's true. Now is Rocky and Puddin' ready for the trip there? I'll have to get some stuff ready for them. Yeah, so we're planning on taking Rocky and Puddin' to this tomorrow. And some Vainas, some t-shirts, uh, stickers, stuff like that. So it's going to be a big deal for us. It's the first show we've set up with stuff like that. Ralphie, we got some work done without you. Now we have like, whatever, four, five, six more to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? What, what could possibly hey, go wrong? Don't say that. What are you going to do with the pedal on the Metro Because it goes like all over. Oh, I didn't think about the pedal. <laughs> We're gonna try the dart wagon now. Yeah, you've seen a video on this thing recently. Runs like a top, but we have not drove it as far as we're gonna be driving it today. So this will be its kind of maiden voyage on a longer trip. Looks like we're good on oil. Yeah, we're good on the entry. So as long as we got fuel, maybe we'll be all right. Got some new baby calves out here. We don't show them a whole lot because we're not on this side of the property, but yeah, I got some new Brahma calves. It'll make it a lot easier when some of y'all get a driver's license. I'm gonna be doing this one solo because this thing has no seat belts and pretty much no floors. Better check the fuel level before we go. I think she needs some. It's nice to have a car with a working fuel gauge, but I don't know what that feeling's like. But people have told me what it's like. It sounds good. Just exhaust, nothing to worry about. Back on the road.
again, look, I'm glad our zip tie held in there. There's a brake line hanging down. A brake line? Passenger. Really? Yes. Come on. He's eyeballing everything. That that is the antenna cable. It's dragging the ground. The exhaust is dragging the ground. This is the fuel line hanging down, and that's the brake line hanging down. And that's the floor pan hanging down. Anything come off in here? It's crazy how empty the fuel filter looks, but it has plenty of fuel to run. I don't understand it. Can you believe it? Three in a row. I should buy a lottery ticket. You should buy a lottery. Stop on your head. Stop on your head. Stop on your head. <laughs> so what should we get next, guys? What do you think? Metro Mont? Metro Mont? Yes. Okay. I wish you guys could row, but you know, no seat belts. Safety first. Fuel's hooked up. Battery installed. Put in backwards again. This thing's awesome. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Our carburetor linkage uh, does not work right on this thing. It's either wide open or idle, so we're going to take the doghouse off so I can run the carburetor by hand. Give it that stomp, honey. There we go. Perfect. This thing is a little low on water. I think it's got a leak, a couple of them. Hopefully they don't get any bigger on this drive. There's like four places it's coming out from. I knew it did. This is gonna be interesting. Maybe I can work this throttle, I don't know. Nah. Maybe I can work on my foot. Oh yeah, I can work on my left foot. Who needs a throttle pedal when you got your left foot on the car blinking? Oh yeah, it's not oh. The whole foot on the intake thing ain't gonna work when this engine gets hot probably. Transmission stop for it. Just a shifter? It's got plenty of fluid. I think our ship is just wonky. All right, here we go. Look how I'm working the gas pedal. Oh, <laughs> Lord. This is a first for me, pushing on the car with my foot. It's already starting to sprinkle water on me. I'm not used to being this close to the lot line. fast when I turned it off. It was chugging smoke out of the valve cover. When I was coming up the big hill, I was really thinking the motor was going to let loose. Had a lot of blow by, then it kind of worked itself out. Do you see how much smoke was coming out of it? Yes. Crazy amounts of smoke. Going just because she smoked, don't mean she broke. Exactly, just because she, she smokes. She got here. Look at that. Four in a row. Who would have thought it? Not me. Broke this car is the only one that I've actually drove 
like out on the road long term all these right here have only drove just a few miles like this one especially it's only went about a quarter of a mile oh this is my favorite one i love it it's because of the color because me and you like these kind of colors I love the blue color oh yeah and it looks so big but it's really it's smaller than the falcon is it's like the falcon and it are almost the same length that car is way longer than this car it's so funny watching it go down the road i know yeah these two especially are really funny going down the road need our fuel why are you pouty well i want i want to ride the, in the tractor with him um, like, i could just sit in your lap and you could see her safety first safety first or force or something what's really incredible is we have never aired these casings up like it's amazing what tubes will do for uh keeping something from going flat all right on to the next one i really thought we'd have a breakdown by now i seriously did all right girl don't burn to the ground while we're gone it was just so funny you did like funny so going down the road it's really kind of small so i'm so used to driving on the left side of the car that I driving on the right bad. side i was just like way over the middle line I'm too bad we can't afford them cletus mcfarland semi trucks to pull up for and sure load them all up take them there for it's us home. Really? yeah we need one of them farm use tags to go on the back it's a little bit of a commute for this thing. I'm not sure about this. Where am I doing? There you go. Woo! Oh my God, it's fast. It feels fast in the yard at least.
with yet another car without an issue, well, a tractor without an issue. This is unbelievable. Look at those beauties. I think I'm going to take the shortcut. <laughs> ride in the history of ever. Man, I cannot believe it that we got all these cars here and didn't have a breakdown yet. We'll, we'll see how tomorrow goes. You think tomorrow I'll go okay? Yeah, What's falcon, going on? The falcon is gonna drive. If she falls off, I'm just oh, no, Was you worried? I wish I could have rode. When I got like to the end of our driveway, I was like, oh gosh. It was so slow. It was so slow. It felt so flat, fast on the grass, and then it felt so slow when we got on the road. Well, I mean, Jeffrey's gonna be on any minute now. Yeah. Right? Hey, I saw a dishwasher. You might want to go check <laughs> it. There, I could replace it. you. So Ralphie's been begging and pleading with me to take the F-100. So I think we're gonna load it up on the trailer and take it over there in the morning. Yeah. Maybe it won't hit the fan like the last time we tried to move it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Can I set it in the right direction the first time? Listen to that thing start up easy. He's sending her. Bruh. Are you excited we're taking your truck? I wish you could drive it, but yeah. Is it your truck or is it mom's truck? Whose truck is it? Be mine, 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 mine. Man, we gotta get a better return spring on this thing. It's it's revved up, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, you love your radio, huh? I can't find the channel. <laughs> A lot of work today, but we got this thing strapped down. It just barely fits on there. We're going to have to end up getting a longer trailer if mom keeps buying these big vehicles. Well, it's like 6 a.m. the next morning. Everybody else is still asleep. Hopefully none of our cars caught fire or got stolen last night. I am on Vanya duty. I am trying to get all the spare Vanyas we got around here. We're going to give out free cans of Vanyas at the show because I wish everybody had a can of Vanyas so they could feel the same love I do right now. Well, that's all I could find. I thought we had more around here, but I guess we've just been eating too many of them. And you know, we got to take animal crackers for Rocky. Morning, Rocky. Are you ready to go to the car show? You're going to have to leave your wife and kids behind, okay? We can't take them all. Oh, somebody's ready to go to the show. I'm sorry, Vanya. I know you're a good girl. All right, Rocky, get your stuff packed. Good morning, Granny. You doing good? That wake you up? All right, let's see if the old Falcon will start for us. Oh, reliable here. You got this? You got a heavy load. Man, what a trooper, huh? Driving her big rig. I love driving the Falcon. Something about the console, I think. <laughs> aren't even awake yet. They're still snoozing. We're trying to let them sleep as much as they can. We got a few more hours before we have to get everything there. We're going to try to get what we can. Can't even see what I'm towing. There she is. I can barely keep up with her the way she drives. Look at her go. Tucking that left side hard. She's in a lane, it's just not her lane. I'm revving the guts out of this thing, trying to keep up with her. <laughs> we got another tractor on the road. <laughs> That's great. Thank the Lord she got behind somebody going slow. Yep, tractor traffic headed to the show. That's funny. I think his tractor's faster than mine. us to have this many successful trips without a breakdown. Something's wrong here. Girl made it. All 
All right, time to go wake the kids up and bring another one over here. You did so good. Thank you. I was a little worried. You were you were over the yellow a lot. Stop it. I have footage. We can review the footage. Oh please. <laughs> There's a little. Fine. Like a charm. Where are you going? All right, we got our stuff unloaded. We dropped the trailer. Now we're headed back to the house to get the motorcycle. Can you believe we've moved this many vehicles without a breakdown? The tractor won't start. What you did to it? I don't know. It was running fine when we parked it there. And I went to move it and it won't start at all. Good morning, Ralphie. Good morning. Ralphie, this is the only one worth cleaning up, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this. This is the first will it start vehicle we did on the channel. It's our neighbor's truck out there on the road driving it well unfortunately we've ran out of time to haul these we would have had to haul that one anyway and haul the malibu and the studebaker's got flats i think we're just going to take the motorcycle because we've ran out of time yeah it's putting ready to go yep i got her bob off oh she needs that Come on, walkie it's time to go <laughs> we gotta go load up <laughs> i'm sorry you. let's go come on get in here with squeezy come on come on buddy you need help? There you go, buddy. Ah, All right, sit down. Put your seatbelt on. All right, guys. Last one. Show's about to start. We gotta get there. Rocky, you can't drive. Scoot over. Well, that could be a seatbelt on Rocky. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We get them all here without a breakdown. There you go. You got your collar on. I hope this thing will start now that you're here, Ralphie. Just because you are here. Yeah. Can I drive it? Yeah. That thing wouldn't start at all for me this morning. Ah. What's going on? We got a fuel supply issue. It's still got fuel trash. in it. You can just trash in a carburetor or something? There is. It's a lot of trash in it. Yeah. How did it drive all the way here and now it won't drive around the building? If it starts, just put it in second and go. If it starts to die, you might pull the choke a little bit. Seems to be running fine now. Yeah, the cars are starting to show up now. That's good. Good job, man. I think it was just the trash in it. Maybe. We may have to clean it at the carb out. You must have been in it. <laughs> well, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if you don't count our, our drivable truck. I've never seen so many $500 vehicles in one spot before. You setting the Vainas out? <laughs> Well, people are starting to roll in now. Here's that truck we got running on the channel. It's been a while, huh? Like a year. I know, it's been like over a year since we've uh, messed with that thing at all. It's good to see that they're driving it still. I know a lot of people have been asking about it on the channel. I would drive it. I could. Okay. You can probably drive it. Yeah, you can keep that thing up. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88 We got all our t-shirts out here, stickers, free vainas, hoodies. What do you got, Squeezy? What are you doing? You trying to break in the cooler already? <laughs> we just got here. 
Rocky's already working on yard work here and Puddin's eating her some hay in her pudding jail over here. You're always good, aren't you? You like that? Yeah. What? I think that truck that just pulled in has a tow on it. It's probably a supercharger. Yeah, it's probably right. a lightning with a supercharger. Yeah. That's a big boy truck, isn't it? Yeah. Lord, look at the casings. It's almost as big as you, Ralphie. Yeah. Love it. I want to go see the inside. Is it locked? <laughs> you don't just jump in it. Uh, look how shiny the hoops is. Jeez. I wonder how big they are. I'm going to see. I don't know. Uh, 22.5 inch hoops. Look that, Camaro, two Thunderbirds. Those are both Thunderbirds, Ralphie. Yeah. Stop it. That is nice. What is this? That's a spare. It's called a Continental Kit. I like it. It's still got the hat. That's great. Look how nice that seat is. Mm -hmm. Need to buff this thing. I like the Torque Press D's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a turbo. Oh, it's got a, it's got a Pro Charge Supercharger. That's cool, huh? You like that? Yeah, Big supercharger. Man, that's fancy, isn't it? Wow. Is it a five speed? I guess. I didn't. I expect it to be automatic. I know, that's what I thought. Small block with a supercharger. I wonder how fast it goes. Have to ask him, huh? Yeah. Man, look at that. That's clean, isn't it? Cleaner than ours. <laughs> Ralphie won't step in there. Right. Check what it out. are you doing, Ralphie? Hey, get up there and pull that pull that red lever right there. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new. Really? He was wondering how many gears it had. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> he is, yes. He definitely is. Oh my god. That C8 57 pickup and Chevelle. Oh, oh, man. Twin turbos. That's awesome. That's what you love, right? I love it. LS twin turbo. Man, that's nice. Rambler wagon. I have a question. What? Look at those. They're the paddle shifters, like I was telling you about. Get in there. I'm going to get my drink out there and you can just take pictures. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at you. Man, two Corvettes in one week, huh? Wow. That's a big week for you. I don't know. I've never even sat in one. There, there you go. What do you think about that? You're sitting in front of the engine, isn't that weird? Hardly any takers on the Vainas yet. I mean, isn't that sad? You know? We've been trying to give these things away and nobody wants them. They act like they're not good or something. You can use the juice, it helps your joints. Give them a hug. A baby? Touch. Oh, give him a hug. Rocky's down on the table. Well, that's different. The exhaust comes out of the fender. I like the old Barracuda, Monte Carlo Aero Coupe, but Fury 3. Man, looks like a pretty clean original. I wish I had a car with interior like that. I wonder what that's like. Showing 40,000 miles. Man, I love that pearl. Man, look how clean this Newport is. I love the old trunk mats like that. I love the body style on those. Those hoops is nice. What a beautiful dash and interior. I don't know what it's like to own something like this. 383 four barrel AC. The CA, that's your favorite one? Give me a dollar. You're such a Corvette fan. I don't have a dollar. Your mom, I'm married, remember? What do you think about that, Ralphie? Look at that big block, huh? 429. You being a good girl? You getting all the good dandelions for Crocky? 630 something lift and 235, 231 yeah. duration. I can barely even see them. I love these early Barracudas. They're the coolest back glass ever. Uncle Chris used to have one of these. 273? That's what his had. Yeah, had to break open a can of Vainas. I got hungry. Man's got to eat, you know? I think he's ate enough to he's kill a horse today. He's been eating like crazy all day. 
You want another one? That's my boy, look at that. So they told us that it's time to come up here to see if we get a trophy. I don't think we have nothing to worry about, Ralphie, do we? What if we do? do that, I get that would to be have the it? first car show trophy I've ever won do if I, we did. Do I get to have it if we do? Yeah, you can have it. You can have it. All right, for fifth place, we have number 14. And big pay card winner. All right. Fourth place was number 38. Third place was number 23. Second place, number 36. Uh, best of show, number 27. And our people's choice was number five. So we got the People's Choice Award. Yeah, uh, this is my very first car show trophy ever. We won our first car show trophy ever. Well deserved. People's Choice. The Metro Mott? Okay, okay, awesome. That's cool. cool. What's wrong with these people? I don't know. It said we got People's Choice. That's awesome. There you go. I can't believe we won a trophy. First time winning a trophy ever. I think we're gonna end up having to haul that one because it's not wanting to run right anymore. Yeah. Start putting batteries in cars and gas and drive back home, right? Yeah. Are you excited about your trophy? Yes. It's incredible. Yeah. Ralphie, what are you gonna ride in? Motorhome, Falcon, or Turbo Coupe? You ready to go home? You had enough grass today? Okay, so we had a great day here. Tons of people showed up and we gotta get all eight of these home now, so. We're gonna get a little convoy going here. Gonna get the wife in the turbo coupe. I'm gonna get in the motorhome, I think, with Ralphie maybe. Dad's gonna drive the Falcon and mother-in-law's gonna bring us all back. Don't fall in love with it. Just not. Fall in love with this one, okay? Oh, yeah, pudding, will you? Yeah, yeah, pudding. All right, Rocky, let's go. Oh, we're moving out. All right, move over, Rocky. I got a ride too, okay? So, do you like it? Yeah. I love it. Go quick. Down it. Floor it. Sorry, took off. I think Dad can keep this thing running. It'll really impress me if we can make it home without 
so hot on my feet. This being a goat riding in a motorhome. Nothing weird about that. It don't have any oil pressure anymore. Did you fall in love with it? It does. That's factory. It's a little slippity dippity, isn't it? They said you built it. I did not build it. I can rebuild it. Did you fall in love? These boys are bad ambulances. What are they doing? All I heard was drift around the corner, do a burnout. That sounds right. Do a burnout, do a burnout. That sounds about right. Let's hear the turbo. Are you part of the team now? You, you know, part of the team? <laughs> I got shirt we haven't had Mimi on video. Oh my <laughs> There's no telling how much that cost us. Look at that. Yes, driving, what are we driving? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what I feel comfortable with other people driving because they're so <laughs> sketchy. I'll drive anyway. We got Mama hooked up to the trailer again to haul her Ford truck home. She's a trooper. Right. Squeeze lemons. That's the only signal she knows. I knew you wouldn't understand unless I did this. <laughs> You're there. It'd be nice to be able to drive this one. Yeah, for sure. Are we crazy? Like, why have we moved eight cars? <laughs> Maybe. Try to move eight cars to one show. Okay, Dad, here's the lessons on this. Okay, so you flip this up. This is reverse. This is drive. Remember, don't fall in love with it. No, it's in part. You stay in your lane better this time. This time. I didn't watch it last time. <laughs> yes, I know my exhaust is dragging the ground. It was hitting me. The the stuff off the road when it was tapping the ground was hitting me. Did you lose it on the way over? No, no, it's just always been that way. Okay, it's loud. You looked right at home in that thing. Oh, it's nice. The exhaust had, was quite be okay. Did you see anything on the road through the floors? I saw all kinds and heard all kinds of things. <laughs> It's the first time I ever drove a push button transmission. I've Pretty neat, isn't it? Did you put it in park? Slide it down? Yeah. <laughs> we're the last ones here. We were the first ones to get here and the last ones to leave. So we're going to haul the tractor home because it's like it's lost fuel supply. I think we probably could clean the carb out and the fuel line and fix it. But we've lost the keys to the Metro Mont. So yes. we're going to find them. Been trying to buy the dart wagon ever since we got in the truck. It's all I've heard. It is a nice vehicle. It has character. Yeah. It does have a lot of character. <laughs> This left brake is the good one, and I have my foot on the right one. That thing looks so small on there after seeing the F100 on there. We were literally touching the casing, touching the ramps. Only thing you've ever bought that fit on a trailer. No. So we've lost the key to this. I've lost no, the no. key. Yeah. Huh? There was no weight in that. So she may have to stay here for the foreseeable future until we find the key to it. Right, thanks, Dad. Thanks for your help. 
I appreciate being able to help today. I enjoyed that. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> See you next time. You know, I should have just let you drive the tractor home. No, and, thank you. You know, see how it went. You don't no, want to drive the tractor home? No. You are. It'd be dark before we got it home. Can you tell how sunburned I am? I would bring the bangs up and show you the five head, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Woo! Whoa. All the kids abandoned us. They all decide to stay home in the, in the air conditioning because they've been out in the heat all day, so... This is like a day. This is really a day. Yeah, I had forgot how easy it is to load a vehicle up that runs. We haven't loaded a vehicle up that runs in so long. I'm used to it taking like a couple hours to Wait load to something. There. Yeah. Lala, can you believe that I won a trophy? No, I can't. Like, I've, never 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 won, won. I've never won a trophy. Never won a trophy I've never done anything good enough to win a trophy. Are you ever going to set the trophy down? Man, I can just see you now on the commode holding that thing. <laughs> Okay, update. I found the keys. I had uh, somehow got them in some side pouch in my backpack. Me and mom are headed back now to get the Metro Ma and drive it home. Hopefully, drive it home. Hopefully it'll make it home again. I'll be glad to get done with this journey. This has been a lot of work lot to make this happen. There she is, my beauty. It's hard to drive. Like being on the wrong side of the car, from what you're used to, it's really hard to stay in your lane. I look like you driving. It was that hard. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Rodney's came knocking. Was it knocking? He was he making some bottom end noises when we pulled back in here. Now Wait, it won't hey, start back. Can I say something? What? We need to torture test it. Like just put it in a tree and put a rock on it for hours. <laughs> this thing died on me here. Let's see if it'll start back. Ooh. I think she's. She gone. I think she's tightening back up on us here. It yeah. sounded like um, Uncle Rodney came knocking when I was pulling up. Godzilla engine. That's what you say to everything. We need to put a Godzilla engine in the Fairmont wagon. That'd be cool. Well, we are beat. It has been a day, well, <laughs> it has been two days of hard work to get this to happen, but we really wanted to put on a good show for everybody. 
We knew people were coming to see us, so we wanted to get as many there as we possibly could. Maybe if they do this again next year, we can get even more there. Right, honey? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, it'd be a blast. More than eight? Wouldn't it be cool? Let's Going see. Here, Mom swears. She swore an oath that she didn't mess this one up. I didn't swear. Hey, look at that. What do you know? So you got to pour it on your grass. Your exactly. Grass. It's good for fertilizer. It removes stains from your clothes. Good for uh, arthritic joints. Helps clean out your carburetor. Warp floors and cluttered drawers. It helps with all that. So make sure and save that Vianna juice. We poured one out the other day and there's a 50 foot tall oak tree there now. But we really appreciate you guys watching. We had a lot of fun meeting everybody. If you were there, we had a great time meeting you guys. Had a really good turnout. I didn't know what to expect because it's just the first time this church has had it. But we're glad we can help for a good cause. The money went to the youth group, so I know they'll love that. But you can check out our second channel at Sleepy Dude 2. You can check out us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleepy Dude 88. Exactly. We found out some things today. We found out some of our vehicles have limitations. You know, the motorhome has no oil pressure now. That's unfortunate. It's probably going to put a damper on our scamper about a summer trip right now. So we got to make something happen there because we really like to go on a trip this summer in a motorhome. You can see our merchandise down below. It's not looking good for the old Metro My inline six. It runs, but it seems like that engine's getting tighter and tighter the more you drive it and more and more chugging. I really love the Rambler wagon. That was like, of all the cars there, that's the one I would want if I was gonna pick you one. You wanna know mine? What? That C8 or that, um, what, what was it? That car that wanted to start and we had to, the Camaro? Yeah. The Camaro was pretty cool. Yeah. That thing or is super the slick. C8. He is all about some Corvettes. But he let you sit in it. That was awesome, right? Yeah, I couldn't even see above the windshield. But if you haven't been in a while, go to a local car show. They're fun. At least the first time you go. They're really fun. Oh, do you think this would be any good on sunburns? We yeah, may need to fine. try it out on the sunburn because I got cooked today. Let's see what it does. <laughs> what? She thinks so. But anyway, if you didn't get to come out, maybe you can come out to the next one we get to go to. We're going to go to several events this year. We're going to try to be at uh, Cletus and Cars at Bristol. Uh, we're going to try to go to Ford Fest this year. We may even try to go to Mopar Fest if the schedule works out for us. Uh, I'd love to build something to go on Drag Week. I just don't know. We've had some parts issues getting some of the drag car projects done. But... We got all kinds of other project cars. You know, we got to get back on the Super Coupe. I got to get some floor pans for that Dart wagon. We need to get the brakes on the Malibu. Ralphie's dying to do that. We need to get the brakes on the Savoy. We need to get the shifter for his F100. We got some parts on the way. We've just been dealing with some back order issues. But thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, Jesus saves and George Nelson withdraws. That's just the facts. Just, just the facts. That's mine. Give me that. Oh, wow. Does your neck always shrink when you chug stuff? What? What is this? The turtle chug? What is this? Turtle. Turtle. <laughs>